Mac Mini when you're ready for the computer, but hit record when you start the show. I just hit record now because it's fine. Otherwise, it's good. So, <laughs> otherwise, I'll forget. So look, at, look there, huh? Okay. <laughs> Bonjour, bonsoir. <laughs> C'est plein de une autre fois. C'est un autre jour dans le terre. Oui. Et euh, j'ai écouté euh, le programme euh, d'après de plein de qui s'appelle euh, Richard Rance. Et il a, il a dit... Euh, Quelque chose sur un topic que je suis um, uh, un peu obsessée avec um, l'eau, le problème de l'eau, the problem of water. Alors, et voilà. <laughs> Mais, um, uh, nous avons un guest très important dans, le, dans euh, notre euh, euh, monde <laughs> qui s'appelle Carmelita Harris. And, uh, uh, alors, en anglais, non? <laughs> uh, welcome to Planically. And uh, we're so uh, blessed to have a very special guest who has been doing her own show for quite a while. You may have seen it. It's called Irie Vision TV and I, I feel so blessed and thankful that she is here as uh, Planet Glee's guest today and um, tonight, I should say. <laughs> and I hope everyone's having a good evening and here we are. Hello, Jennifer. Uh, <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> How are you feeling? Very, very good, you know. Just uh, coming back from Jamaica and Atlanta. So um, re, uh, I've, um, how do you say, when you go on holiday, you feel rejuvenated. So I feel pretty rejuvenated. <laughs> oh, cool. I, I bet from Jamaica too, no? Yes, yes, yeah. definitely, yeah. And then 420 was this weekend, and I covered um, Don Carlos at in Pacifica, this club, and then in Sonoma oh, at wow. Fish and Reel on Saturday. And then the 16th anniversary of King of Kings reggae, DJ Smokey and, and the crew did that Sunday. So it's been very, very busy for me, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're an expert videographer. Yeah. Yeah, I t take pictures and video, and they see me sometime, and I'm videoing and snapping pictures at the same time, and they're like, what? This girl is doing all this, you know? But you have to do your passion, you know? So I've been doing this almost 30 years now, and now that I'm retired from the city, I can do my thing. Just put all my effort in, you know, doing iRevision Reggae TV and start putting out more um, interviews and things that I haven't been able to do. And then hopefully one day I'll be doing a reggae award show. That's one of my dreams to do, especially all the DJs and musicians that don't get their accolade, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you do it here or? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, in the Bay Area. In the Bay Area. Yeah. The Bay Area oh yeah, cause it's, you know, we got the DJs here and people who's done so much for reggae and they right. don't get their props, you know. Yeah, so I want to do, you know, give out an award, you know, especially me doing TV, you know, I know who the good ones are, the ones who's, you know, really nice to um, the press, you know. So, you know, I want to do that. So you just have to stay tuned for that, you know. Mm -hmm. Do we still do reggae in the park? No, they don't do reggae in the park. I think the closest reggae in the park they had was 420 last week, you know, <laughs> with DJ Irie Doe and John Warrior Shelter, oh. King of, 
um, uh, King Javier and Joe Weiser. I think that was like the closest they did for reggae in a park was 420. You know, Hippie Hill. Remember them days, you know? Oh, yeah. 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 No, I went to reggae in the park like Bill, uh, in the 2000s. Yeah. And uh, I remember that's when Sizzler kind of came out. Yes. 2003 yes. or so. Mm hmm. And um, Mikey Dread was there. Culture was there. Oh my God, it was so many people there. It was a good old days. Burning Spear was there. Yeah, Burning Spear was there. I forgot about him because he's retired now. Yeah, that was he does really a tour. special. It was so special because um, you know Joseph Hill has passed away. He's gone on, and Mikey Dread has, has gone on. You know, and Mikey Dread still opens up for my TV show. And, oh, really? Oh, yeah. And he called me oh, and Mushia his okay. um, angels. You know, so we were like Charlie's angels. Me and Mushia was um, Mikey Dread's angels. You know? Oh. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. So. You know, time is so special. You just never know when it's your time. So, you know, and um, me being around, you know, the artists, you know, it's, you know, it's special. You know, you just, you just never know, you know, like, you know. You mm -hmm. are an artist yourself. Yeah, well, just a videographer, interviewer and stuff, you know. That's, that's an art form. Yeah, it is. It is. It has taken time for me to to get that niche and I always try to um, capture the magic of their performance and that yeah. special uh, spirit of everything you know you mm -hmm. do too and they yeah. and I always notice that the reggae artists are always like happy to be with you well, I try to make them feel you. comfortable and, yeah. you know I'm not trying to uh, start no scandal or anything you yeah. know I just you know, it's just about them and what they're doing and um, the love that, that um, you know, that reggae is about, you know. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, we talked earlier uh, before the show about um, the, the Peter Tosh Museum. Yes, yes. I was um, blessed to go to the Peter Tosh Museum in Kingston, Jamaica. And it was the, um, I think it's only been open a, maybe a year and a half, oh, wow, you know. So that was really um, very moving, very touching. Yeah. You know, I put me in a little tears, you know. Oh, I love him too. Oh yeah, yeah. And it, it had all his, um, his guitars, they had his uh, unicycle, his bicycle, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, where he used to ride in and, you know, different things there, his um, autopsy, uh, you know, you know, just different things in the museum, you know, and it was very, very special. I was very blessed to go there. And um, I thought about his son, too. His youngest son had, um, was, uh, was in jail for some herbs, some, you know. Oh, Lord, and, have mercy. Yeah, and he got beat up in jail, and he just came out of coma, I, I heard. Oh, so good. we're just um, still sending my prayers out for Tosh One and hoping he gets better and, you yeah. know, come back because he's really a good performer. And, you know, I got a chance to interview him um, when he first came out, Tosh One. So I got that on YouTube too. You can check that out of um, of him. You know he's a real sweet kid. So my prayers and to his family and and his mom Melody and and everybody. You know it goes out to, um, go out to the family and hope he'll get better and be back to singing and doing what he loves. You know. How the mm -hmm. coma sounds very good. Yeah, yeah. He's been in a coma for almost a year, I think it was. So, you know, and I, I came back, and then I heard that he came out. So I'm really, you know, we're all happy for that. You know, you don't want nothing to happen to nobody, especially a young youth. You know. I know. Yeah. I completely. We um, we have your uh, I revision reggae TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, we have your other project, uh, the Streetwise Radio. Radio. Yeah, because, um, you, you know, I'm involved with 
uh, Michael um, is the one that got me into um, Eye Revision many, many moons ago. And, oh, really? you know, I, and I came aboard because I was like, I don't know nothing about reggae or Carmelita. You'll be fine. Anybody Eye reissue, <laughs> you know? So, you know, I took it serious and, you know, came up. Uh, back there then it was Access SF, remember? Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, learned the camera and took classes and editing and, you know, and now almost 30 years later, here I am, you know, still doing it. And now that I'm retired, I can do more of my dream and my goal and I can wake up to my own sun and moon instead of working and, you know what I mean, <laughs> oh, I do. do so much, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to introduce a little friend of yours here? My little grandson, Xavier Jr. He's uh, following in my footsteps. You know, you want to say hi, Xavier? No, come on over here. You can say hi. Come next to me. You can just, he's a you little shy. Hi. <laughs> yeah, the you can come over, over there. Come over by. Mm -hmm, there you go. This is my little 11 year old grandson, Xavier Jr. And he is, um, here, bend see? down a little bit because he's going to be a tall one. So oh, I'm yeah, huh? starting him out in camera, in video. And he's able to go to Ashkenaz because they, could, kids can go. I can do so it. when we go, um, yeah. you know, he. Um, takes pictures and video, and I'm training him. Ashkenaz? And yeah, because oh. the kids can go to Ashkenaz in Berkeley. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. I'm going to put on a three shot so we can see him. Oh. You can do, have a stand over here if you want. And... I'm sweating these lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one time I had, I've had a few performers stand here, dance, do their performance. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They're part of the Planet Lee uh, community, of course, because yes. Planet Lee is our Earth. Yeah, and we have to. Cute. We have to, um, you know, train the youth because he's coming up, and you know, I got him in wrestling, and and um, hopefully he's gonna take some voice lessons because he likes to sing all the time. And you do? piano, yeah, I started my own little piano. Oh, mm -hmm. Fantastic. And drum? Beats. Trumpet. Oh, trumpet. <laughs> Ooh, what do you like better? Trumpet. I mean, singing, I mean, piano. Because you can sing with piano. You can't really sing with trumpet, right? Well, you're using your breath. <laughs> 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 so glad to have you. I wish we could uh, zoom in on you. Oh, it's okay. But we're good. Lights are getting me oh, so wedding. Do you want to take a okay. break and show one little clip? Yeah, you can. Um, my latest yeah. one is Kanadi, Kanazi, D. I um, that's my latest interview. I know and you've been working on it. Where I've been working it. He's oh, he's on YouTube though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you can show Gregory Isaac. Gregory Isaac, I. I, he used to run for me for years. I'd be like, Gregory, Gregory, you know, I want to get an interview. I want to get an interview. And he would, okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. So one day I got him at Bill Graham Auditorium. Uh -huh. And um, Let's do that. got him good. Got him good. It's a little funny. Oh, God. Especially that that's the year when you dodged me down at, at the Hyatt Hotel, told me you were gonna <laughs> told me you was gonna come back and you never came back. You remember that? When I turned on. I, I turned on, yeah. I know, that's why I gotta I gotta really uh, juice my juice up with you. All right. You know, you were excellent in so San Francisco handsome. Bill Graham Auditorium. Ragged no. Muffin Festival, you tow it up. Oh, I you, True, thank you, thank you very much. You know, I enjoy doing it. You I mean everybody was just Grooving that you just had everybody under control. Oh. True, that's true. <laughs> and doing it. Yes, yes. And it's so good to see you too. True, true. And you're still looking good. You are looking good too. <laughs> you too. I like that that G suit you got on and everything. Thank you very much. Thank Ooh, you. Know? You're still sexy and everything. Every time. And Every you're still day. singing night nurse. You're gonna sing that with me tonight, right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Lucky you. I'm not a TV personality for nothing, okay? <laughs> it's getting a little hot up in here. You got to move it a little bit. Oh, hot, 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 you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you got that new so CD shy. you were talking about uh, yeah. coming out with the he touch. He's very quiet. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's coming soon, you know? Mm-hmm. Everything I tell him. Mm-hmm. Soon really. I had to. And you, you got know, some hot band people over there. Live wires. Hot. Tell them on, yeah, you know. Those young, them young guys. Yeah, yeah, okay. Tow it up. Wires. Wire, love. They wires, know. come over here. They, they tow it up. They he tow wants it to up. get the video. So he's, he's trying to like, get. The, he's trying to get them to save him, ah. but they ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I want to manage the program also, you know. <laughs> oh God! Somebody's calling me on my cell phone. Ring ding, cell phone. Ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Just came up with that. He is so well, cool. <laughs> anyway, I know you got the Untouchable CD coming. What Choo-choo. else can we expect? Uh, many, many, many more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Many, many more. Yeah. Well, I hope Hawaii. you're at some of the festivals oh. this year. I'd love yeah. to see you in one of yeah. the festivals. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I want to be there. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to say anything positive <laughs> to the youth that's trying to get to where you're at? Yeah. You know. We'll all do differently who in the entertain business and all over. One thing I'd like them to do is live with love all over because only love can conquer war. No guns no no being can conquer war. Only love can win war. Okay. And one more question. <laughs> one, my last question. Gregory, when's your birthday? What horoscope sign are you? On the 15th of July. Oh, you are a cancer? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time out for the viewers of San Francisco. And thank you and all the staff of the television station, yeah? Okay. Give me some love. Don't, don't, go, don't go nowhere. Love. <laughs> I don't get this opportunity with a legend too often. Thank you, Gregory. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, then the this is the Ivoire. This is the band. And this is the okay. He wanted it, but you could cut it. You could, yeah, yeah, I'm going to cut I'm gonna it. Do yeah. That. <laughs> that was great. It took me years to get that interview because he would, I'd be in the lobby like, Gregory, can, can I get an interview? Oh, yes, I'll be right back. And he would never come back and I'd be be there. And then um, finally I told him at the Ragamuffin Festival because he was coming to San Francisco. And I said, okay, Gregory, I'm going to get you in, you know, Bill Graham Auditorium and you're going to be on my turf and I'm going to tear you up. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fun. It was fun. It took me years to get that interview, though. He yeah. was in San Francisco. Yeah, he was at the Bill Graham when they had the Ragamuffin so Festival, yeah. and they would have it in Long Beach, and then they would come up to San Francisco, and they would have it up here because they used to have it at um, in San Francisco at the Two B One production. Remember, I Maritime remember. Hall. Oh yes. Yeah, the Maritime Hall used to. They used to give a lot of shows. I saw Percy Sledge there. You saw Percy Sledge? Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's... That was a happening place. Yeah, it was. It was nice. Now it's condominiums. I think it, the hall is still there, but behind where the parking lot used to be is, is condominiums. San Francisco's changed so much, you know? Oh, that's a cool hall, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where, so where are we now in 2018? 18. I know. <laughs> So much, so much going on, and um, you know, reggae's still happening, you know, um, festivals are coming up, I want to, you know, talk about, you know, people still supporting reggae, California Roots Festival's coming up, and that's Mm -hmm. May 25th, what is it, 25th, 26th, 27th, it's going to be Still Pulse, Chronic is one of the hot artists now. Mm -hmm. Um, Jay Boog, Sammy Dreg, The Green, Slightly Stupid's going to be there, I believe, Alpha Blonde, <laughs> um, Hari, we like that Original <laughs> Wailers, Raging Fires, another hot young group that's that's happening now. That's good, and they can just in New Kingston, and you know you can go to the website for California Roots, and that's going to be in Monterey next month. Memorial Day weekend, and that's going to be really going to be nice. And then one of my favorite festivals that's coming up is Sierra Nevada World Music Festival. And this year, Barris Hammond's back. I love some Barris Hammond. I feel good. Oh, don't let me start singing. <laughs> but Barris Hammond, Coco T's going to be there. Legend. 
Um, the Mighty Diamonds is going to be there. I remember. I oh. had one of their records. Yeah. <laughs> Tabby in that beautiful voice. He's going to be there. Um, Jaw Nine. You know, I met her in Jamaica when I got off the plane in 2000. I think it was 2013 to 2014. All I heard, Jaw Nine, Jaw Nine, Jaw Nine. So I was had the pleasure of meeting her, interviewing her there. And now she's popular and she's just lovely, lovely lady. They have to do more, get more women in reggae, you know. What happened to Sister Irie? Sister? No, sister, was it Sister Irie or Sister I? Sister I Live? Yes. Oh, Sister, Sister I Love. I, live. I just saw. I just saw her this week. She was at um, King and Kings this weekend. I just saw her. Yeah, yeah. she flies back and forth, back East Coast here, but she's still here. Cool. And when I do the award show, she's going to be one of the first to get the award. And Sister cool. Carol, because Sister Carol's been doing it for some years. And I saw Sister I Live. Yeah, Sister and I Live. Yeah, late beautiful. 80s, early Oh, yeah, she's yeah. still around. She's still doing it, still fashionable oh. and still working it. Yeah, yes. she's such a beautiful lady. You know, they got to do more. They got to have more women on these festivals, you guys, you know, because it's a lot of women there. Tough Like Iron, she's another new one. She did that um, uh, video, uh, Orange Peel, <laughs> you know, smoking the ganja, you know. I think I saw that. Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. I played it on my show, Orange Peel. I try to, you know, get the women, you know. I know you there. do. Yeah, and Jaw Nine. She has a beautiful video. What was the, that other video that I like of hers? Um, kind of rap reggae, no? Huh? It kind of, is it kind of rap reggae? Kind of spoken word reggae? Well, Am I wrong? Some, no, not necessarily. Some singing. No, something. She has that flavor to be, There's one be to talking. Yeah. I like Should have brought one of her videos, you know, but yeah. I'm trying to think of the, oh, oh, size 14. <laughs> I mean, I, it's the song, <laughs> but it's not the song size 14. But um, God, I can't think of the name of that song, but she talks about, oh, it's avocado. Avocado by John Nine. It's just so cool. Her fashions are so. It's just really nice in the video. The purses, the jewelry, her outfits, and um, yeah, uh, avocado. Yeah, and then she talks about size fourteen. Well, I'm not going to get into that, you know. But yeah, you have to tell the viewers when your show is on. Oh, I'm on every Sunday on Channel Twenty Nine. Every Sunday at 10 p.m. You know. Sunday and, at 10 p.m.? Um, every Sunday at 10 p.m. And I've um, been working on a new show because we're on new equipment here and it's taking a little longer, you know. And our, our these live shows are really short. So that was so fascinating. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you. And I want to say hello to Mushia, you know, because next year, you guys look out, Port Antonio, Mikey Dread Festival next year. Next year, 2019, it's going to be in Port Antonio. It's going to be the first Mikey Dread Festival. Mm -hmm. Right on. Because okay. he was in the, you know, the Waka Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and all that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So thank you, Jennifer. Oh, thank you, Carmelita, for being here. Merci, oh, yes. merci. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.